All right, that was two honey crisp apples that I sliced. Now we're gonna add some Granny Smith slices. And I did let these soak in a little bit of lemon juice so that they wouldn't brown as quick, but that's not necessary. Perfect, that was two Granny Smith apples. Now I'm gonna come in with some orange slices. This is one orange and we're just gonna, I sliced them super thin and we're gonna throw that in there with those apples. This is a delicious, yummy fall drink that I love to make for Thanksgiving. Once you have your orange in there, we're gonna grab one pear that I sliced into fourths right in there. And this is a, you know, big glass that I'm using here. Now I have some pomegranates here. You could also use like some cranberries, but I couldn't find cranberries quite yet. We're gonna use that whole eight ounces of pomegranates. Ooh, look at that, that looks so good in there. Now I'm gonna come in with some cinnamon sticks. I think you guys can kind of see the flavor palette we're going with, and we're gonna try to get these out. Just add a few cinnamon sticks right in there. Get that nice flavor. I personally love cinnamon. It's my favorite fall flavor. I'm actually gonna use that whole jar. Now I have here some mulling spices, and this is from Whole Foods. It's actually only like $2.99 from Whole Foods. We're gonna go ahead and get a nice pour in there. Just kind of be generous with this. This is a big, you know, drink dispenser. We want a lot of flavor. Oh yeah. And you can, if you can't find mulling spices, they have a few little recipes online so that you can create your own mulling spices. One thing that's included in mulling spice is the star anise. And I'm just gonna add a couple more because I just think they're so adorable. We can kind of just sprinkle them in. They're just like a little flower seasoning spices and I just love them. Okay, just a few. Because remember, there's already some in that mulling spice. Now, for the moment we've been waiting for, our main component, not our last one, but our main, we have this honey crisp apple cider. Oh, I just love a good honey crisp apple. And we are gonna pour this whole jug right in there with all of that delicious fruit and spices to make the ultimate fall drink. Oh, but don't worry, we're gonna add one more thing to really tie in all these flavors. This is gonna be a winner. Just look at those fruits starting to float with that delicious apple cider. Ooh, yeah, baby. That wow. smells <laughs> so good, you guys. All right, before we add our last ingredient, I'm gonna give this a quick little stir just so we can make sure we get everything kind of, you know, well mixed. We don't want all the apples in one. We don't want all of the seasoning in one spot. Pomegranates, the oranges, ooh, all of those delicious fall flavors. This is just really gonna make your apple cider like the most luxurious, delicious little treat. Perfect. All right, you guys. Last component, some ginger ale. Oh yeah. Just to add a little bit of carbonation to our delicious apple cider. And we're just gonna put as much that will fit. Oh, look at the bubbles. I just feel like ginger ale and cider complement each other so well. And with all of those fruits and those spices, we really just get a burst of flavor that you've never had before with apple cider. Ooh. Ooh. Look at all the fruit floating to the surface. Yeah. Oh my. This is the perfect. Slowly, we don't want it to overflow, but this is the perfect amount of liquid for my drink dispenser. Ooh. Okay, you guys, give it one more mix. Just like so. 
Oh my. And the best part about this like fruit float into the top, nothing's gonna clog your little dispenser. It's gonna be just all nice and flavorful. All right, you guys. So before we give this a taste, I'm actually gonna pop this in the fridge for one hour so that those spices can really marinate in that cider and we get the full effect. But you can leave it overnight. You can use it for just like 30 minutes. Just let it sit for a little bit so you get the best effect. All right, it's been a one hour. I have my glass ready with some ice. Let's go ahead and fill it up. Ooh, yeah, that looks so good. I have a little extra cinnamon stick. Give it a nice little mix. Throw her in and let's cheers. Oh, is it good? that is really good, you guys. You have to try it.